You must have heard that Tinobu thoroughly disgraced Wike. What you probably would have not heard is that he actually disgraced him four times. The first thing he said was, Oh, you welcomed me with a bottle of wine that is not flowing. In other words, you welcomed me with yeah, yeah wine. Rubbish wine, stupid wine. That's the implication. And the next thing is that, oh, your governor-elect that you forced on the river state people, hmm, he has started to fuck up. Oh. He has started to fuck up. Anyway, I won't talk about it now. Then the next thing was that, come, look, guy, me and you not be mate. I am your president-elect. Eh? Not be mate we be. Now, you and so on, Lu, now be mate to forget, say, you do it, you do to support me, oh. So will you be your mate? I will send so will you to you. Then the last one, the last straw that broke the camel's back was, Oh, <laughs> you cannot come and bribe me with uh, invitation to come and commission bridge. Bridge. You can't bribe me with that to say that I should come and give you back the money when I become president. Oh. You are the one using the bridge. Oh. Don't expect any money from me. Toro, toro, disgrace and embarrassment for Wiki. See, when I said that I pity Tinubu supporters, many people think that I am just uh, happy at their misfortune. No, I am not. The track record of Tinubu is clear about this. You cannot defend Tinubu and not look stupid. You cannot support Tinubu and not get your breakfast. Ha! This is just the beginning. 99% of the supporters of Tinubu, they will chop breakfast. If not lie, go and ask Smart Adeyemi. Go and ask even Binani of Adamawa. Go and ask them. Go and ask Rocha Sukurocha. Go and ask Rotimi Amechi, all the people in APC of Rivers, you're supporting Tinubu, you are supporting somebody that has a clear case of court conviction against him for being involved in laundering drug money, you're supporting that kind of person with questionable character, and you think that it will go well, it will not go well. Let me tell you why it will not go well. Because the resources of Nigeria is not enough to go around. Eh? In Kogi now, you can only have one governor candidate for APC. So all of you that supported Tinubu, thinking that Tinubu will give you, the Tinubu effect will work in your favor to get the governorship candidate. How far? How market now? In fact, there are your own people, your own people, the, the people of Smart Adeyemi are being used to call for the suspension of Smart Adeyemi from APC. That's what you get when you support illegality. Because you think that illegality favors you today and you are supporting it. Don't worry. The time will soon come and it comes quickly when that illegality will turn and bite you. It has started biting many supporters of Tinubu. The next person will be you. It has started biting Wiki of River State. The next person will be you. Unless you turn around now and join forces with us. Let us reclaim this mandate from them. Let us reclaim this mandate and give it to a Peter Obi that will lead Nigeria in a new direction. We need a new Nigeria. We cannot, we cannot continue to do the same old things and expect a new Nigeria. No. A Tinubu represents the old order that will only bring about the same old order of results. But a Peter Obi represents a new Nigeria. We need leaders that will not steal our money. Leaders that will not connive with the House of Assembly to pass bogus pension laws that will favor themselves. We need those kind of leaders. Leaders that do not have drug cases against them. Leaders that do not have dual citizenship. That's what we need. And we got those leaders. Unfortunately, somehow, we were robbed. And we need to reclaim it. So what you need to do is support this move 
to reclaim the mandate. Stop supporting Tinobu. Breakfast is coming. Wiki is in, you see how thoroughly Wiki is suffering his own now. You see how thoroughly embarrassed he was. He couldn't even laugh. You just know that the laugh he was laughing was fake. Chebi was telling people that people were praising him fake. All those traditional leaders. Now he's the one that is laughing fake laugh because he supported a bad candidate. Because he supported a wrong candidate. Now look at it. He wanted presidency to come to the south. So what, what was wrong with supporting Peter Obi? After promising Peter Obi heaven and earth, he went behind the curtain to support Tinubu. After condemning Tinubu openly on national TV, condemning the APC, then he goes behind and makes a deal with the devil and turns around and begins to support Tinubu, even goes to declare a public holiday. Come on. For every public holiday that is declared, the government loses revenue. So, Wiki did not even mind losing revenue to try to play psycho fancy, the same psycho fancy that he has stood against, to play psycho fancy to please Wiki, uh, uh, Tinubu. But then Tinubu does what he does best. He turns around and embarrasses him thoroughly. Embarrasses, not once, not two, twice, not three times, four times. In one speech, a speech that is less than 30 minutes, he embarrassed Wiki thoroughly. Reminder to the rest of you, supporting evil because of your own selfish interest, supporting evil because of the money you hope to get, you cannot support Tinubu and not look stupid. Ask Fashola. You cannot support Tinubu and not look stupid. Ask Kayamu. And if you think you want to continue in that path because you hope to get something as benefit, ask Smart Adeyemi, ask Rotimi Amechi. The examples, they are bound. The right thing is the right thing. If you do the right thing today, it may not favor you, but in the long run, it will favor you because it will, fa it will favor Nigeria and favor all of us. But if you support a wrong thing today because you hope that tomorrow it will favor you, it will turn out against you several examples abound it will turn out against you stop supporting evil because of your pocket sake stop supporting evil for your stomach sake stop it it is only justice that will bring about equal opportunities for every nigerian we can't continue like this and expect a different result so come around let's support the movement the mission to reclaim our mandate for peter obi let's support it every support matters every support counts and nigeria will be better for all of us we must stop this mistake that we're always making during election time looking for perfect people we must stop it what we need to do is focus on the solution perfect solution and we have one such solution that in fact will unite all nigerians and that is the free food stamp and social welfare law we need to make it a law for all nigerians to be taken care of particularly the unemployed ones the elderly ones the aged ones and the children and the women and the differently abled ones we need to cater for them and it should not depend on how nice the president or the governor is it should be dependent on law whether the president is good or whether the president is bad nigerians that are challenged in any way financially physically um, emotionally they economically they should be taken care of by law and that's what this law seeks to take care of please click the link to join we want to bring good heads together to formulate this law in a way that it will favor nigerians like i said before don't look at this law with the eye or the mind or your understanding of how the free food stamp law works in america in the uk we are tailor making this one for nigeria's needs so join the movement this is what we need to do we need to come up with this law we need to force it down the throats of the legislators because in doing that will expose their true intent and of course they need the numbers when they see that we have the numbers if 10 million people support this bill the legislators are not stupid they know that in the le next election cycle those 10 million people will not vote for them so they will support the bill this was how we got the electoral bill 
to pass, we can get this law to pass too. All we need is to come together. Please support it. Click the link. Register your name. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just your contribution of thoughts, of ideas. That's all. And we can change this country together. We don't have to be president first. Do your part now for a better new Nigeria.